Okay, hey boys and girls. Today we're going to be making our cave painting. So here's where you can get some simple uh, materials. So here I'm cutting open a uh, grocery sack so I can make either actually two big pieces of brown paper. So I'm cutting it up the seams on the sides and then once I get to the middle I'm going to open up and just cut off the bottom. So I'm trying to get to the bottom here so I'm cutting up the sides and now I'm cutting up the other side and then I'm going to just actually cut off the bottom. So here I am opening it up and cutting off the bottom. So once you have the bottom cut off you'll have one big brown piece of paper. The only thing you'll have left to do is to take off the handle. So here I am uh, going to take off the handle right now. So here's the handle on the bottom, taking it off. And now I have a nice big brown piece of paper. Now I'm also going to crumple it up real quick like this, just so it makes it look aged. So it makes it look more like a cake. It has bumps and cracks and things like that. So now it looks more like a cake. Now if you don't have a bag, you have a brown piece of paper, that will work to any color. I just happen to have this color here. If you have a brown piece of construction paper, that works well too. Those are two materials you can use. Either one works. Make sure you crumble them both up. Now you get to choose what you're going to color with. Now I have pastels here. These are the best thing you can use because they mix colors very easily or chalks. But crayons worked really well too. So I'm going to actually use crayons today so you can see even with the basic thing, what it looks like. Okay. Now first I'm going to put some just colors because rocks have, natural rocks have lots of colors in it. And the stone at Lascaux have a lot of colors in them like orange and white and yellow and red. So just randomly, I'm just kind of putting some colors and trying to blend them in together so it doesn't look like a stripe or a line. I'm just kind of mixing colors. Not too bright, but yet not too dark, because we don't want it to look like a weird rainbow or anything like that where it's straight and perfect. We want it to look like rocks. So I use the cracks in the paper to kind of show me where I want to put it and the lines. And when I add the drawings, it will give me some more details of where I can need to add more as well. So I may draw more shading as I go on. But today, right now, I'm just kind of starting with some color, spreading it out, trying to fill the whole page with some color. Okay, because that's what the cave will really look like. Now that I've added some color, uh, you can see orange and, oh, look here, so I'm doing some white. Just accentuating different parts, kind of blending. White's a great color for blending. You can see I can add a lot of detail there. There's some browns. Now don't just try to keep one color in one spot. Use lots of different colors. Move that color around. So now I'm going to probably get a different color. You know, there's some black even. Not too much black though because that's for our details. I put just a little bit for like some shadow. Out here I'm putting some, uh, get some red or maybe some orange whatever color you think okay there's no wrong way to do this okay all right now you want to choose an image to look at now I will have a slideshow uh, or these files you can download to uh, think of different ideas these are just images to look at to decide what you're going to draw you can do a combination of different ones or you can just draw one uh, I'm just going to pick the one of these last ones here this one looks good yeah I use that one so uh, it has lots of animals on it. So I'm putting it here so I can look at it. Now you can have your computer screen with some of the pictures on it that I have in the slideshow. So you have something to look at. You can pause the slideshow so you have something as a reference. I always like to draw from a reference. I don't like to make stuff up. So here I am doing my best drawing this first cow. Not the last cow, but the first cow. <laughs> and. Uh, so I'm drawing the best I can. Now, if you don't make it look exact, that is fine because the cows all look different. They all uh, have different shapes and they're cave drawings. So they're not even, they're realistic, but they're not super realistic, okay? So if you don't look exact, look, mine doesn't even look exact. It looks good, but it's not exact. So that's okay. So I got, mine kind of looks like a big dog right now. <laughs> anyway, so. And then I'm going to color it in. I want it to stick out, so I'm going to color harder when I color it. 
and make it uh, press harder on the crayon or the pastel or the chalk so it shows up a little bit more. See how hard I'm pushing that white is really showing up. Okay. And I want to color in the whole thing. I can add some more colors as I go. White is a good color to start with because it's the lightest color. Uh, depending on what animal you're drawing though too. So the lightest color is always the best one to start with. So, now once I have the uh, white, I'm going to add an accent color. That means a color just to blend with it. So it doesn't look just like a white cow. You want it to still look like the cave and that it's on the cave wall. Okay, so I'm gonna mix some yellow in here with it in a second. Oh, I forgot to draw a leg. <laughs> Let me draw this leg in real quick. There we go. And so, we got, oh, I'm gonna add some spots for brown because the cow has some brown spots on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then now I'm adding the yellow. So here's some of the yellow mixed in. Maybe I'll add some orange too. Yeah, there's some orange. That's looking good. I like how it looks like it's part of the cave. I like how it looks. So now let's see, I'm gonna draw some more other animals. Uh, let's see, let's draw maybe, yeah, this one looks good. Let's draw a horse hiding here in the background. You can see at the top of the screen, barely, right above the cow, I'm drawing just the horse. Now in this picture, they don't even show his legs. Just like part of the horse. So he's red. And I'm gonna mix in some brown there. Make it a little darker. And then I'll mix in some white. And that'll make it look like the cave I was mixing in. Okay. Let's see. I'll put some more color around it. Makes it like the cave still. So. Alright. Now I'm gonna add a deer. Now I'm gonna I don't have to put it exactly in the same spot, so I'm gonna move it down a little bit. Add some of the antlers. Uh, to draw antlers is kind of like a tree, the Y tree. I've always taught you guys how to do. It's just like the letter Y. Add one Y, then add another Y, and it makes it look like antlers. Okay, then we can draw his tail and his legs. Does not have to be exact. Again, just doing our best. Color it in more than one color to make it look like a cave. Let me make our, the legs a little longer there. Let's see. Add some black for detail or. And the hooves, yeah, I like that now. All right, maybe some black on the too. All right, now you can draw lots of different animals, not just deers, you can pick anyone. And remember, you don't have to draw from one picture. You can add a rhino, even though there's no rhino in this picture. Go back, get the other picture of the rhino, and add it in this one, okay? There's more than one way. All right, now I'm gonna add a couple horses over here. I'm not gonna draw the whole body. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll make a horse and a cow. This one could be the horse, the black one, and then maybe I'll make the white one a cow. Yeah, they're like two buddies sitting there next to each other. So here's the cow, there's his horns, and then up here I'll make the horse's body coming down in this corner, kind of separate them, but yet look like they're together. Add some color next to them. See, I even adding orange makes it look like it's part of the cave. Orange is not a real color you find on a cow, but it just gives it that earth tone that looks like it's part of the cave. All right, let's see. Maybe some more deer down here. Make a red one. I like that red one that's in the screen there. Move them over a little bit. Yeah, there's some antlers. Yeah, now add another color to mix it in. That's looking good. Right. Let's see. Let's make some, now sometimes some of the animals overlap. So I'm gonna make an animal right on top of my first cow that I drew. Now you're like, why is he on top of them? Well, they did different animals at different times, so they wouldn't just draw one animal and then like this whole painting wasn't drawn in one sitting. It was probably drawn multiple years by different artists kind of working together and making it. So and I'm gonna move it up so you guys can see. So there's an animal down there. Now I'm gonna put another one up here. I don't have one in this spot yet. 
Uh, actually, you know what? Let's make a person instead of an animal. Let's make a hunter or something. And so I got a bow and an arrow, and it looks like he's going hunting. And let's make some symbols like he's shooting arrows, maybe. And yeah, put some colors around them because I don't think I put enough color on this side of the cave. Make it make them stick out a little bit more. Sometimes color around an object is just as important as the object itself. So like adding color around it adds more action, more movement. And now at the top, I, you know what? Uh, cave artists would sign their artwork by putting their handprint. I have a big empty spot over here, so I'm going to trace around my hand, even on top of my cow, trace around it with red or whatever color you decide. And then, I, yep, so now you can see the outline. And now I'm going to color in the negative space. We just learned about negative space in another assignment. And that just makes the middle part of our hand stick out. So we're going to color around the hand with some different colors like red and orange and yellow and brown and white, just like our cave pictures. And that'll be my signature for my artwork. And that's how you'll know it's mine. Because they didn't have names or probably even they don't have a language at that time. So this is how they would sign it. So this is where you'll have your sign. Now you can go anywhere on your picture. It doesn't have to be at the top. It could be wherever you have some empty space. Now if you want to do that first, that's fine too. There's no wrong way of doing this. Okay. So now as I put these colors in, this is the last final thing. So I might add some symbols some more colors just to fill in some empty space but this is how we are going to finish up our project today make sure you have some animals and some people maybe you don't have to put a lot of people just one please and you have to have your handprint please and that is our finished project for today doing our cave art so here it is let's take a look There it is. All right, guys. Hope you have fun. Enjoy the project. And you may submit it to me online with a video or a file. I can't wait to see it.